Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop. My name is Blake. We're gonna be looking at different news stories that are affecting this new Hyperloop industry. So first, let's get started with Virgin Hyperloop One's feasibility study. This is a great article by Andrew Hawkins who predominantly focuses on the fact that no dollar amounts were really published within this feasibility study. And it's really hard to kind of judge uh, the case for it without those dollar amounts. Next is the editorial by the CEO of Black & Veatch who did the feasibility study independently of Hyperloop, Virgin Hyperloop One and the Missouri Hyperloop Coalition and gets really into kind of the, econ the potential economic benefits and the environmental benefits of a Hyperloop between these three cities, St. Louis and Kansas City and uh, the other city in the middle, I, I'm blanking out. Next is the editorial uh, by the editorial board saying that there really needs to be a dollar amount for the feasibility study or else it's really hard to uh, judge its merits. Um, but I think the St. Louis Dispatch is pretty positive overall in that at least somebody's working on this. Um, it just needs to be figured out how to pay for it. Next, still talking about Virgin Hyperloop One and how Richard Branson has left after a dust up over Branson's criticisms of Saudi Arabia that's been happening in the news. Um, definitely interesting, still kind of developing, but things seem to still be going and progressing as normal. Um, we haven't heard much about that Saudi Arabia feasibility study, but then Virgin Hyperloop One is refocusing on their Pune to Mumbai uh, Hyperloop route and they released this video. So let's listen in. Well, it's great to have the Chief Minister of Maharashtra come and check out our technology, see a live test, see about the first system that's going to be built in India, see exactly what he's gonna get for that. I was really impressed with the whole delegation's ability to want to push this project forward and do it very fast, and their commitment after seeing the technology and showing how quickly we built the technology here in Nevada, understanding how we can do that inside of India, and they are trying to find ways to help us do that even faster than we ever thought possible. To be where we are now, when a year ago we were at the Vision for India event where we were looking at different routes all around the country, is pretty incredible. The people came to us and said, we want to see a Hyperloop technology in India. We want to see this exist. Right now it takes about three and a half hours to do the trip between Mumbai and Pune by road. Uh, if you take a train, it takes about five or six hours. There's only two flights a week because it's such a short distance and it's very difficult to get to the airports. We're basically saying we can do it in 25 minutes, which is a huge improvement from the status quo. Today was all about viewing our technology in real time, in real life. And nothing prepares you until you come here and then see it for yourself. When you see that you, when you see the, the, the pod, when you see the control room, you see the people that are actually making history. Pretty cool. So then Richard Branson tweets out, or I'm sorry, this is another article about him stepping down. But then he tweets out that um, a visit in late December to see maybe groundbreaking uh, that is happening in late December. But also in late December, Elon Musk tweets out that there will be uh, the completion of a tunnel that is almost done uh, December 10th and this is the one near Hawthorne um, not the dugout loop and if you are interested in about this topic I would recommend you check out the A Boring Revolution YouTube channel um, does a great job explaining about the Hyperloop tunnels there or the boring tunnels there so check that out um, next um, HTT brings out a press release saying that they're going to be start construction uh, late Q3 2019 in Dubai. So we'll see more about that. Um, still not a lot of clarity on um, whether this is an official project or unofficial project, uh, but still good to see that HET is working really hard um, in pushing this Hyperloop project. Um, next, I just want to highlight some um, interesting posts that some university teams are doing for the SpaceX pod competition. Um, follow our Instagram account in the Hyperloop and um, support all these different teams by giving them a follow. 
So finally is a press release by Continuum Industries, which is the Edinburgh hype ed group that spun out after the pod competition and the Virgin Global Challenge competition. Um, they have released a statement and a press release about their getting funding from uh, the founder of Skyscanner, which is a airline and travel based website for tracking flights and stuff. So congratulations to Continuum Industries and uh, stay in the loop.